Servus guys and welcome to another Applied Energistics tutorial. Um, I'm calling this uh, Autocrafting 2.0. Last time we got our storage system and the second tutorial on Autocrafting. But now I'm showing you how to uh, yeah, enhance your Autocrafting um, possibilities with Applied Energistics with the ME system. And I'm going with the Meserator and the Electric Furnace from IC2. So just connect them with uh, cables and have some energy and uh, yeah fill the gaps so no one is tripping um, well you can tell the system to produce or to use these machines um, for certain kind of recepts uh, receipts and um, yeah as usual you need some import buses to connect this to your system so everything that's getting produced will end up in your system and then the most important thing is the ME interface which has to be on top on every machine that you will be using so um, just place it there I need to go to survival mode now and use my question hammer and I think right clicking it um, until the arrow shows downwards um, to the machine yeah and uh, points to the machine and um, well you can tell the ME interface some crazy shit up there but doesn't matter for our tutorial we just need the processing receipts which can be stored right there and you can tell the system to produce something like um, for example we want to produce coal dust uh, which um, yeah is coal into the meserator um, but it won't end up in in a special receipt so if you put some coal there nothing happens so you have to put the coal dust uh, in there by yourself just click encode so you need both items once produced and just um, put the receipt or the pattern into this processing unit and um, the things will be craftable so now we do not see anything to craft because um, I forgot to connect the ME interface to our system, which is also very important, <laughs> otherwise it won't work. Um, yeah, so um, now if we want to craft um, coal dust, the, uh, the system will yeah, get 10 coal to the meserator and it's getting produced. So let's speed some things up. Okay, I got... I, I lack, uh, I have not enough power here, so it doesn't matter, but you, you get the point. So you can tell the system to produce anything by using these machines. You just have to yeah, fill in the receipt manually, let's say like this. And uh, well, let's say we want to produce, um, we want to tell the system, okay, iron ore um, transferred, gets transferred, or gets crushed by the meserator into two iron ores and uh, will be smelted up by the furnace into ingots. So what we're gonna do is um, we need to tell the system, okay, one iron ore um, results in two um, crushed iron ores. This is very important because uh, you have to click twice because um, yeah, it will produce twi uh, two uh, crushed iron ores and um, this has to be done manually by, by you, so don't forget it to uh, check the right receipt. And one crushed iron ore will result into an iron ingot. So if you see crafts one iron ingot with one crushed iron ore and the other one is uh, crushed two crushed iron ore with one iron ore so this is for the meserator which will produce two crushed iron ores and um, this is for the furnace to craft or to produce to smelt the iron ingot so let's get the system working and say okay we want to have some iron ingots so begin so the system does nothing at the moment and that's the point why I'm always saying you need to have a crafting monitor. And there you see we got some missing materials because there is no iron ores uh, in the system. So uh, let's get the system some iron ores. And you will see the meserator already started, produced two crushed iron ore. The import system gets the iron ores out and uh, into the furnace which will produce uh, iron ingots all by itself and that's really awesome you can really I can think of you, you, sh you should be able to yeah produce nearly anything everything by by itself just uh, get a lot of receipts in there and yeah I don't know a solar array all by itself um, and this is so awesome and um, 
yeah, I'm so glad that I found this mod and uh, yeah, it took some time uh, getting into this mod. And uh, yeah, there's a second possibility with Autocrafting 2.0, um, which is copyright by me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, this, uh, the second thing is um, you can tell the system, uh, for example, I want to have always two stacks of glass in my system. And if there are not uh, two stacks of glass in my system, then reprodu uh, reproduce glass until at least two stacks of my of glass are in my system. That's what I'm going to show you now. So we need, of course, um, our furnace uh, for um, producing sand uh, or reproducing sand, smelting sand into glass. We need some power as usual. Um, yeah. We fill in the gaps, okay, again, no one's tripping, no one, everything has to be safe, yeah. So, um, basic import bars into the machine or onto the machine, so we get our glass out. You can connect the import bus to every other AI machine, so this is it's really nice. And now we need a precision export bus uh, right on top of this machine, and there you see some yeah, possibilities to fill some items in. You can tell the uh, export bus um, to export certain items into your machine. For example, uh, or for, for this example, we want the export bus to have uh, sand exporting to our system. And uh, with that way and connected to our system, it will always um, get sand into the, the furnace. But uh, well, as I told you, we just want to have a certain amount. So we put all our sand out of the system and connect it, otherwise it would start right away exporting sand until no sand is left. So what we need now is our, um, we want to tell the system, yeah, only two stacks of sand and we need the ME level emitter for this. Just click it on your export bus and connect it to your system. So this one works with the redstone signal. So if we got a certain amount, um, um, a certain item over a certain amount, the redstone signal will, yeah, start or go go off. Um, you have to change this one in the precision export bus as well to say, okay, react, please react on the export signal, uh, redstone signal. And here we say, okay, um, check glass, and if glass is over two or um, reaches the amount of two stacks, uh, emit a redstone signal. So in our system, you see now we got over two stacks glass, redstone signal is on, now we got less, and redstone signal is out, now we got more, redstone signal is on. So this is turning on or off the export, uh, the precision export bus. So, um, when we get uh, some sand, we got now over two um, stacks of glass. If we got some, get some sand into the system, you will see that nothing's happened. Yeah? It's not exporting anything because we got over two stacks. If we remove the stacks now, uh, you will see that the sand goes into the electric furnace and it's, and it's going to produce some glass for you. The only thing is, uh, it's not that precise because um, it will stop until uh, two stacks of uh, glass are in your system, but there will be, well, let's say a stack of uh, sand already in your um, in your electric furnace, which will be produced anyway. So it's not stopping the furnace, uh, it's stopping the export bus. Yeah, but um, I think it's a very nice way to have, let's say, glass or stone or whatever, or gravel or whatever you need. Um, in your system to have always a certain amount uh, of these things in your system yeah that you don't run out of stock yes that's uh, more or less it i think i'm done with my applied energistics tutorials uh, i did um, the storage thing auto crafting 1.0 and 2.0 and yeah i hope you have fun rebuilding it thanks for watching have a good time have a good week have a good day and See you next time. Servus, guys.